Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we will show you how to take a screenshot in those app which does not allow us to do so by default. For example, in case of Hulu, Amazon Prime or Netflix, you will not be able to take any screenshot. So let me show you, I have just installed my Netflix app onto my phone and currently I am on the home page or the setup page but that does not matter, let me try and take a screenshot. So if I use the screenshot, you could see that can't take a screenshot of this page. So let me show you once again. So as of now, I am unable to take a screenshot. So it's not just with Netflix, with the Amazon Prime, the Hulu Plus and all the other content that uses DRM content. It will not allow you to take a screenshot in those apps. However, in this video, we'll show you how to bypass this restriction and take a screenshot on all those apps on your Android phone. But before starting, do note that this video is just for education purpose. You should not make use of this video to for piracy or any other such malicious intent, only use this video for education purpose and that's it. So with that in mind, let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to root your phone via magic. If you haven't done so, then you could refer to my guide and root your phone via magic. In short, you if your phone comes with Android 12 or older version, you have to extract the boot IMG file from the current stock firmware. If it comes with Android 13 or newer version, you have to extract the inert boot file from the Current firmware which is installed onto your phone. You could verify the firmware version from the build number onto your phone. So it's usually in the settings and about phone section. In my case, it's the 14.0.23515. So make sure to install the same firmware which is installed onto your phone. Then extract the boot or init boot file, patch it via magisk, and then flash it via powerboot command. I will explain everything in this guide. So refer to this guide and make sure to root your phone via magisk. So as you can see, in my case, I've already achieved root. So once the root is done, your next course of action is to install the expose or the ls framework. So let's now proceed ahead and install the ls framework onto our phone. So your first course of action is to root your phone. In this case, we have already achieved root. So next up, you will now have to enable Zygisk onto your phone. So go to the settings menu on Magisk. As you could see, it's showing as no next to Zygisk. So we will now have to enable Zygisk. So go to the settings menu. Now enable the toggle next to Zygisk. And it will ask us to restart our phone. We will not do a restart now. We will do a restart after flashing a module. So moving up, the next step is you will now have to download the Zygis module from the GitHub page. So go to this link. I have given my guide link in the description. So go to my guide link and then go to this GitHub link and make sure to download the Zygis release because we are using the Zygis version. So download the Zygis version of this mod and transfer it onto your phone. Once you have transfer it onto your phone, we will now have to flash this module via magisk. So let's not do, do, do that task. One more thing, as soon as you download the module, it will be in a zip format. As you could see, it's currently in a zip format. So you should also extract it and have an extracted version. So make sure to extract the zip file as well and transfer both the ls Digest version, the zip file and the extracted version onto your phone. I'll show you why this is needed as well. So as of now, simply extract it. You could also extract the zip file onto your phone or extract it onto your PC by right-clicking on the zip file and select extract all. And then this will give you the LSPOS extracted version. So make sure to transfer both the LSPOS extracted and the zip file onto your phone. So let me show you as of now, I have both the version. This is the LSPOS zip file, the module version. And this is the extracted version onto my phone. I have both this version. So let's now proceed ahead and flash the zip file first. So launch the Magisk app, then you have to go to the module section, tap on install from storage, now select the ls zip file and then tap on OK. It will now be flashed onto your phone. Once that is done, tap on reboot and your will, phone will now reboot to the OS. But as of now, the ls will only be installed in the back end. In the front end, you will now have to install the apk file as well and the apk file is there inside the zip file itself. So that is why we have asked you to extract the zip file. So let me show you this is the extracted zip file. And inside this zip extracted file, you could see an app name manager.apk. This is in fact the LSPOS app file. So you will now have to install this app file as well. So make sure you have this file onto your phone as well. So in my case, I've already transferred both the zip and the extracted file. So let's now launch the file manager app. So let's, and as you could see, it's the extracted version. So go ahead and under the extracted version, just tap on 
manager dot apk and now select it to install it so let's me now install the app onto my phone it might take a few seconds to load in xiaomi it usually do a few scrap things such as scanning for each individual apk file which might might take a few seconds so let's just wait that is one thing which i just simply hate with miui anyways we can't do anything as such so simply tap on install and with this we have got the lsports app as well so first of all, we flash the lsports zip in the back end via the magic and then we have installed the app as of now you will get you you might get two apk file we have to just deal with the green icon you don't have to do anything with the brown icon moreover launch magic once and make sure that is showing yes next to zygis as you could see so with this zygis have been enabled again go to module section and make sure that the zygis ls pose is turned on so with this we have enabled the module zygis have been enabled and likewise we have got the ls pose app it might ask for an update that's not compulsory you could update if you want or leave it in that set as well so with this we have check mark the first three requirement so moving ahead your next course of action is go to the download section of ls pose and from here you have to simply search for the flag secure and that should do the job so this is the disable flag secure you could see it's the latest module all the other modules have not been updated so select the first module disable flag secure then go to the release section tap on assets and again tap on the apk and with this the app will should not take you to the github page and it will not take you to the download section so just hit the download button and the app will now be downloaded once that is done it will ask you to install so just hit the install button and with this the app have been installed but please don't launch the app as of now in my case i am not getting the option to launch but even if you get the option to launch the app please don't launch the app simply install it and tap on okay or you could also minimize now in your notification panel you might get a notification that expose module is not activated so simply tap on this notification or if you don't get that notification simply launch the ls post app now go to the module section and you should now see the disable flag secure module select it and now enable the toggle next to it after that make sure to check mark system framework and the app in which you want to take screenshot in my case it's netflix so check mark this app once you have check mark all the apps you just have to restart your phone once so let me now restart my phone and my phone will now reboot to the os and with this the module will be enabled and then you could easily take the screenshot on the app of your choice so i'll show you that as well let's just wait for a few seconds for a phone to boot up it is also recommended that you remove the data of the app on which you have you want to take screenshot so in my case is the netflix app so i will also remove the data of netflix and then get this job done so first and foremost let's launch the ls pose app and verify that the module is up and running so just a minute let me now launch ls pose and let me now go to the module section and as you could see the module is running and we have check marked the required apps so now just remove the data of the app from which you want to take screenshot so long press it and go to the app info page then just tap on clear data this screen might vary depending on the phone that you are using this uh, it's the miui version so just tap on clear all data then tap on okay so with this we have removed the data now just launch the app and it will take you to the welcome screen and now let me show you the result if i now take the screenshot so let me show you as you could see i could now easily take the screenshot and make some changes if i want or simply save the screenshot so the screenshot has been saved i could take the screenshot of all these pages let me again show you i could take the screenshot of this likewise once i log in to the video i could also take the screenshot of the playing video movie tv series everything you could take the screenshot inside the app and inside any tv series or movie so let me access the gallery app and show you that as well so as you could see the screenshot has been saved onto my phone so th this method works across all the phones and for all the apps such as netflix amazon hulu prime just make sure to use this just for education purpose and you should not use this for any privacy or malicious intent 
the entire risk lies in your hands. So on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.